comes Hustler. Hustler in for the win. She scores. Abby Hustler gets the hat trick and the extra point. So I'm in my third year with St. Lawrence. I'll have my um, senior season next year. And then after that, I'm eligible for the PWHL draft. PEI is a small place, so you kind of know everyone. And I think it was, you know, so fascinating from a young age, even when we're in, you know, Pee Wee and, and Bantam, how many locals would come out and support us. So I just feel like the community more so made it, made it a lot better for us. I'm not sure if I had a lot of hockey aspirations. I was just kind of going with the flow. And obviously there was no set pro league. So there was nothing that you could, you know, kind of hope for. So once I kind of, um, set my goals for and got a little older and um, you know was able to see how much talent was in the NCAA that was kind of my my tipping point where I wanted to be a division one athlete and then when I was able to kind of achieve that um, we're into the process of getting a professional league and, and it's been booming so I think right now that's my goal is to, to play in the league and and be able to represent my province. I think it'd be pretty cool because like it's a small island and a lot of people think since it's so small, you know, you can't really do things like that. But you know, if like Abby was in it, it would, you know, she'd show them that it can happen. Pretty cool, I would go. I would fly out wherever she plays and I'd watch. I think it'd be great, especially for such a small island to get recognition like that. I think it'd be awesome. I think it would set an example for everyone. Everyone would watch it and I think it would be more interesting for the people here. I think I would watch like every game if she was playing. I think it's pretty cool that like now that I actually have something to look up to to go play because before really the only hockey I could have played like when I was older would be college or university hockey but now I could actually play like an actual league. I think it would be special I think especially with with them paying a lot more attention to the league you know um, like the the team my dad coaches like you know, they're the Western Wind girls and, and I played there as well. And so it's just kind of exciting for them to see that you are able to make that step and, you know, you, you shouldn't be intimidated by these other players from bigger provinces or, you know, have someone telling you that since you're from PEI, you can't make it. The little girl in me would have been so proud.